ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we proudly present this podcast to you in all its glory. They are the bearded wonders, the twin sons from different mothers. He is Blake. He is Sal. And together they are the Blake and Sal Show. And if you're not okay with that, I have two words for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Matt coming to you from Winnie City, Schaumburg, Illinois. So I didn't really do a recap through the day. I figured I was just going to wait until the end. So everything is finally wrapped up. All the closing ceremonies have been recorded. So starting from the beginning of the day, I attended a panel with podcasters, YouTubers. Um, it was very fun. It was just basically kind of more of a Q&A situation. People can ask them just random questions, um, funny stories, things like that. It's very funny. I highly recommend listening to that. Um, check them out online as well. The presenters for that podcast was AC Race Fest, AC Race Fest, uh, Saber Spark, and Palio Stino. Um, from what it sounds like, it, found, it sounds like they have some pretty good podcasts. So definitely check them out. Um, all four of us are podcasters. We each have uh, a podcast that we're a part of. Um, each one of us. As one single one. As one. No, we, uh, we have kind of a mixed match up here. I guess, Paleo, if you want to start introducing your podcast that you do. Yeah, so uh, there's a podcast I do called POS Podcast that's uh, live streamed to my channel like every other Monday. Uh, and I do it with Saber, um, uh, our friend Hirasashi. And, um, and like we have like a sort of like revolving door of like recurring de- guests. We have like Tommy Oliver, our, our friend Jax Quaid. Uh, sometimes other people join in, like our friend Matt, or, or sometimes Wraith is on. So yeah, we just talk about like entertainment news and movies and you know. So yeah. Yo, and then uh, we also have representing up here the Semi Perfect Podcast, uh, which was a podcast Saberman started. It, it's always amazing to me how long ago these things have started. It's like, oh wow, like 2015. It's like it's been 84 years. But uh, yeah, so we uh, we we got that going, and, and now it's it's actually mostly ran by my fiance Toodles. Um, but we also have like Laura uh, joins us on that, and um, a whole bunch of other people. Uh, Black Griffin uh, is a, a common. When we can find him, uh, when he's not stuck in the air somewhere in his jet plane or whatever. Um, there was one time where he was on time and like one time. Yeah, and I was like, "This isn't right." <laughs> <laughs> Go away! And then, then, yeah, I think he had to leave for dinner like five minutes into it. They were like, "The potatoes are in." Yeah, they had a little ring bell from his mother. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we uh, and we have a, a whole kind of cast of people. Um, Hirosashi also joins on that. Panama Matt. Um, and yeah, essentially what, um, I mean, both podcasts, they're, yours is still bi-weekly, right? Yeah, still bi-weekly. Yeah, yeah. And, and yours bi-weekly Monday. Yeah. And then uh, Semi-Perfect is a bi-weekly show on Wednesdays, and I think they're on the same week. Well, not, not now, because uh, I, yeah, I, I delayed mine after, like, Saber got back from Babscon, because, uh-huh. like, I didn't want to do it that Monday, so I had delayed it. And also because like Winnie City was happening too. There you go. Okay, so so now they're offset. Yeah, now cool. they're offset. I'm paying attention. So yeah, so uh, they're they're uh, each week there's a uh, one of the podcasts. Um, but yeah, essentially what uh, what we talk about a lot of stuff is just a bunch of random topics, uh, some involving entertainment, media, just random life stories and whatever. And um, it, it, 
what we usually do for these podcast panels is just kind of a Q and A session, um, and and this is like, you know, whatever you guys want to ask. Obviously, family friendly panel, but uh, whatever you guys feel like asking any of the individuals up here or, or all of us, um, it you know you can just ask random questions or uh, things about movies, things about what you think about this. Uh, do we have any takers that want to start things off? Come on and line up in front of the mic, everybody. Oh, we need the uh, Q and A mic on. No, that's just a that's just a prop. <laughs> yeah, like you said, we also. Uh, so I used to do a, pan, a podcast called Nerd Echo. Um, it's kind of high at the moment, but part of that is uh, asking who we would questions. So if you want to come up to the stage, or not stage, but ask the microphone, and be like, hey, who would want to fight Rainbow Dash or a report card? You know, go for it. The principal always wins. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mother. So I was just going to ask that, aside from the gavel stuff, what other trouble has Saber caused at past conventions that I have not attended? Yeah. Where do you want to start? <laughs> What about leaving Lauren's bones yeah, I mean, in the uh, elevator? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't trouble, it was just convenience. It was silly, right? It was, I mean, I flat out wasted that batch gone. Like, flat out. Yeah, it was. It wasn't like on purpose, like, I'm gonna, you know, get completely drunk to be a burden upon others. Uh, I just had way too much to drink. I'm like, oh god, I haven't had that much drink since college, so it's been like almost 10 years. It was a perfect storm of things because we were part of a, a panel called Toasty Writers and uh, it involved some of the show staff and alcohol. Uh, it was a 21 plus panel. And so so alcohol was provided. The idea for free. For free. It, it, the, it, so it's not like Sam was at the bar like, like another. No. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> well, what happened was um, we didn't realize that the panel, we thought it was. We thought it started when it ended, so we didn't plan accordingly for dinner. So we hadn't eaten anything since lunch, so you were basically on an empty stomach. Um, I guess about that story after the, uh, the the highlight of it is, after the panel, like it went from like coherent drunk to like, oh God, I'm starting to blur out here. And I sat down next to this table, and, I, and my head was all spotty, I was like kind of existing, and then someone put a lemon next to me, and I'm like, <laughs> I just bit into it. And I don't know why. I was just like, there's no logic. I just, I guess, just wanted to bite into it. And it's on the blog. You know, yeah, yeah, actually on his blog. Like, I'm not making this up. I remember he's being like, did, did you just bite into a lemon? <laughs> what, what blog is this again? It's the, it's the BabsCon blog, uh, the Saturday night. Oh, this year. This year. Like two weeks ago. <laughs> um, you were hungry. I, I, I think if there's any logic, it's I wanted to feel something at that moment. It's all living. I just <laughs> want to do it. I want to let it feel something. That, uh, I am existing. Yeah. No, it was it was fun because I even asked. I had to ask him like, is that a way that you eat lemons? Like, is that a thing that I never knew about? <laughs> I'm from Georgia. We just buy lemons. <laughs> Hardcore. The opposite of Cave Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I have a good question. Do any of you guys actually watch the podcast? And you want to be heard? You say no. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, Alfred, who didn't raise their hand, get out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, my question is, what has been your essentially favorite story inside the podcast? Oh, favorite story on the podcast? I know one from the POS, but we can't say it here. Why? <laughs> what, can you give me a title of what the story could be? Make it, make it family friendly. <laughs> it starts with an F. Oh, Forrest? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we can't say that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, there was another, uh, I think one of our pretty amusing podcasts also involved uh, alcohol. Um, oh, yeah. it, it was, so so when, when Sabre gets drunk, um, like, like not like wasted, just, when you, is it more of a buzzed effect or is that when you're kind of like drunk? When you're, when you're just like, I love you. Because you love everything. Like, every, every, you're like paleo. Well, nah, but race, I love you. No, and it, it's it's great because you also get like really inspirational, uh, which also happened in Batscon. Um, and and yeah, and anyways, on the podcast we we had one of those uh, where um, he, he, said, he was almost about to like 
share too much information. Oh like, yeah, stop them. Yeah, you were, you were gonna tell a story about. So I went to the doctor the other day, and we're like, okay, <laughs> Sam, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the doctor for an ultrasound, and I was like, let me tell you about the details. <laughs> First thing about the jelly, and like, no, 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 the fun thing about the podcast is that um, we've been doing it now for about three years, and um, at, at least a semi-perfect one. And there's there's been a lot of stories that have just been like hilarious. I, I forget what it was, but I remember Sarah once like messed up how she said something, and we spent the rest of the podcast just like making fun of how she said whatever it was. I wish I remembered, but yeah. And and Sarah's like kind of like. I guess like the rock of the podcast, like yeah. You know, she first off, she the Dwayne Johnson. She, yes, <laughs> she, I think I have a uh, a story I could share. So uh, this is from the podcast. I remember talking to my girlfriend here. Uh, she's also the podcast, and I we were like this not during the podcast. I was just reminiscing about my childhood, and I remembered I was a very weird child. Like just did weird, stupid stuff. Nothing like destructive. Just weird. Like the heck. Um, and one of those weird things that I did is I was a big fan of the comic Calvin and Hobbes. And oh, yeah. I am like, cool, Hobbes is like a living tiger, but he's not. And I was like, I think this is the worst part. It's like, I'm way too old for doing what I was doing at the time. I was like 10. And I'm like, I want to have a Hobbes of my own. So I had this little teddy bear that was like that tall. And I would be like, let's go on adventures. So <laughs> you see like this 10 year old boy man, I guess. <laughs> running around the neighborhood, you know, there's a teddy bear. And one day I'm like, I want to have a picnic with my teddy bear. So I decided, because I lived in like a middle class like neighborhood, so there's a golf course nearby. What's that? You want me a teddy in my old hotel. <laughs> oh, just you wait. Um, so basically I went to the golf course, I'm like, oh, there's a great vista. You know, we could sit down near the tee and have some PBJ on this little like towel that I brought from my like bathroom. It wasn't a picnic. You know, blank. It wasn't you know, even like a beach towel. It was a towel, like a just a regular like towel. Like drying yourself off, <laughs> very bare bones. So I went over there and I set up everything. Like this is great. What can go wrong? So I'm just sitting there eating a the sandwich with my teddy bears <laughs> brought up against the tree, and I just hear these. <laughs> I hear these two golf carts stop, and I turn around, and there are just these golf carts are just standing there staring at me <laughs> as I'm. On my belly <laughs> with a teddy bear next to me eating a sandwich. <laughs> oh no. Bathing bow, towel. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and at that moment I realized, oh, this isn't this doesn't look right. <laughs> I look my stuff up. I'm like, oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> also to clarify, you said you didn't do anything destructive. Just I don't now. do destructive stuff. However, what? Yeah. it's like it, Destroying someone's drywall in their basement not count as destructive? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, then one more story. So, um, again, I was a weird kid. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, had, I was one of those kids where, like, I didn't really care about your friendship. I just cared about your stuff. No. <laughs> I'm just being well. real. I'm just being real. Like, it's like, uh, my best friend had a Nintendo 64 and a Genesis, and he's my best friend. Dang it. And his stuff's awesome. I borrowed that. <laughs> well, I had this one friend named Austin Madiak, and he came from a very rich family. And well, I say that because, like, I mean, am I, am I alone where, like, as a kid, like, that's Alex Gilmore, that's Austin Snowball, like, he's a full name, or just the just name, right? And I think I'm named up pretty hard. All right, so, uh, they're pretty famous. Find my name for him. Showing off. Uh, I'm sure that it's the Genesis. So basically, Austin came from a very rich family. The basement had all these old school retro like cabinet games like Galaga, Pac-Man, and I was like, oh my god, it's so cool. But the family hated me, especially the mom. Don't understand why. Oh, mom was <laughs> but uh, I um, I went down uh, to visit Austin, and his mother was leaving to go to Home Depot or something like that. Or she's like, listen, you guys can't hang out inside the house. You have to hang outside in the backyard and play. It was unlocked in case of emergency. 